Hello, I thought I would give you an update on um, my orchid uh, nursery and what I'm trying to do with them. So here is the outdoor shower, which you probably remember from the other video that it was the wall here was covered with all kinds of orchids in different stages. The orchids that were here were neglected and overgrown and the roots had gotten really long. That's that's Sunny Boy on my shoulder. He's talking. And so I removed uh, all of the orchids that were really overgrown and Jeff and I attached them to trees outside. Um, so I'll show you those. And I think we had put this horse, that was mine from, that was our horse rack that we had from in our tack room, or not our tack room, but our dog room, I guess you'd call it, in Santa Rosa. And then here we put this cute um, turtle hose holder. This pot here I'm going to put some uh, different varieties of heliconia in it, which is that orange flower plant that blooms all the time. This orchid is very cool. <clears throat> this is one orchid that just keeps spreading into the rocks and it just, it's meant to grow on rocks and it's amazing. So it's, it's blooming right now, which is neat. And um, so there's a couple babies that grew down here and they're really funny. They look like just, they look like skinny grass, but they're really going to be an orchid. Here's a new one starting and then here are the flowers, which are really pretty. So that's how that grows. And then uh, over here, see I had to peel this orchid, it had all these roots that are left behind, so I had to peel it off. And then these are just um, some kind of like fern type plant growing. I left that so there'll be some ferns growing out of the rocks. In the summer, when the the sun is stronger, these ferns tend to die off. Here's a baby one. Starting out, it's pretty cool. That's how they unfurl, like that. And then, hopefully this orchid will, um, this orchid had flowers on it this summer so it should come back fine and give flowers again probably not till the summer and then Jeff put a different kind of a um, setup out here for the shower so now there's a handheld option as well as a rain shower and it's really nice the what they had here was kind of crappy so it's uh yeah it's fun so now I will take you out front and I'll show you the orchids on the trees. Okay, so here we are where the garage is. And there's the sheds, storage sheds. And here is our water lily, um, our water plant nursery is in this tub. It's doing really good. There are guppies in it to eat the mosquito, any mosquito larva. Um, so then the orchids that I took from the orchid nursery, which is the outdoor shower. 
here's one of them that we put on this tree. And there's Finn. Hi, Finn. Finn. Hi. Hi. He's doing great. Finn had company here yesterday. Two agility friends from Kona and one of them's boyfriend. So three people came over and spent a few hours here. We had lunch and Jeff made a pizza in the pizza oven. And I don't know if I told you about the pizza oven. He makes our friends Jan and Frank gave us a pizza oven. The ones in Santa Rosa. So we have we make pizzas. Jeff makes the crust in it. It's like 700 degrees. So here is another of the orchids. Now, see all these roots that are wrapped around the tree? That's all just from that plant. <laughs> so the roots need to learn to really wrap tight around the tree and hold the plant, the orchid on, and then we can take away the screening. That's just to keep it moist. The, so you put the moss there and you moisten it and then it just keeps the roots moist. We were doing some agility with on the front lawn here yesterday with the friends from Kona. They're agility friends and they brought their dogs. So there's a nice bougainvillea. We're trying to get them to bloom. We had the big ugly uh, they're called cardboard plants that was right here and along the driveway in between the palms removed they were really ugly so now we want the bougainvillea to really fill in okay so here's another palm tree and we put two orchids on it that's sunny boy talking on my shoulder right sunny boy so these two are alike Actually, I believe those are the two that one's smaller and one's larger, but they're both, I believe, the same type of orchid. So eventually they will just wrap their roots around and grow on the tree. And that's, that's what they do in the wild. What are you saying, Sunny Boy? You're, you're laughing? You're funny. I, you're trying to say something, but... Hello? Yeah, I hear you that. Maureen? What are you saying? I know you're trying to say something. I don't know what you're trying to say. I haven't figured it out yet. So here's uh, the way the bougainvillea is. We're trying to fill in. Hello? Yes. What? What did you say? What is that? What are you saying? Hello? What are you saying? Are you giving nice kisses? But what was it that you water. just... Water? Drink your water? Finn? Right. You want to go for a ride? Right. Go for a ride? Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Mmm, it's tasty, huh? Hello, crow. There's a nice hibiscus here. This we have to redo. All these plants. Uh oh, there's a big spider web in the way. I don't know if you can see it, but you just have to duck your spider webs all over. Sunny boy shaking his head from the spider web. Oh, that was a nice kiss. And here are my plants. Hello. They're doing really well. This one's growing all kinds of new leaves. It's really cool looking. Vermiliad. And I think this is the one that has, this one has a, a pup starting to grow. They're like, it's right there. It's a, it's a baby bromeliad. So what happens is after they flower, they start to produce these babies and then they die. It's really sad. And then you take the babies and you plant them 
and I have a baby planted. There's a baby, baby fin. I have a baby planted right here from another bromelia that we had that died. And so, and that one. These are uh, netheriums. And they're really cool, but they're so overgrown right here. They're really pretty. And they flower all the... It's like their leaves are really the flowers. It's not really a true flower. This, this is the cool one. And it's huge. Like the anthuriums are... This is my hand, right? Next to it. You can see how big it is. It's a huge flower and the leaves are big. Uh, it's crazy. I love that. I like when they get that big because usually you see them they're like this size here. So. Okay. Now we have another orchid. Two more orchids on the trees. Here is our garden right now. We had the banana trees cleared. That's our mango tree. Jeff cut it, trimmed it up. It looks really good. And the banana trees got cleared away in between. So you can see the hedge in the Hello. background. Hello. All right, let's get over by this orchid tree. That's some right. boy laughing. So here's right. the water drains off the gutter. Right. Hello. And it goes down this. All right. And then they put this cute little Hello. kind of like a bird bath, but it just catches the water from the downspout. Hello. I don't know what you're saying. You're saying you're not saying drink your water. You're saying something new. What are you saying? Oh, kisses. Okay, so these are the last orchids that we transplanted down to the trees. Hello. In digging or something. What are you doing, Finn? You gonna roll in a something smelly? What are you doing, Finn? Lie here. Lie down, Finn. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Finn, come. Finn, come. Lie Lie down. Lie down. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you. Did you say where are you going? Is that what you said? What? Sam? Lie. 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 Lie down. Say it with a Scottish accent. Lie down. Lie down. Sam. <laughs> You're funniest thing. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> You're fun. Okay, that's it for now.